द स्वाध्याय सत्र लेट एस कंटिन्यू वी आर इन द वीक नाइन एंड लेट एस कंटिन्यू विथ द सूत्रास ऑफ दिस वीक सूत्रास फोर्टी टू टू फोर्टी सिक्स we will chant them two times after which we will look at the meaning of sutra 45 tatra shabdarth gnana vikalpaihi sankirna savitarka samapattihi smruti parishuddhau स्वरूप शून्य वार्थ मात्र निर्भासा निर्वितर्का एत सविचारा निर्विचारा च सूक्ष्म विषया व्याख्याता सूक्ष्म विषय चालिंग पर्यवसान सबीज सामधि तत्र शब्द अर्थ ज्ञान विकल्प ही संकीर्ण सवितर्का समापत्ति स्मृति परिशुद्ध स्वरूप शून्य अर्थ मात्र निर्भासा निर्वितर्का एतया एव सविचारा निर्विचारा च सूक्ष्म विषया व्याख्याता सूक्ष्म विषय च अलिंग पर्यवसानम ता एव सबीज समाधि ओ क्लोज योर राइज फॉर अ मोमेंट एंड लेट दीज सूत्रास परकोलेट विद इन even if you don't understand the intellectual meaning of these sutras the very fact of you are chanting them will generate some impact within for a few moments just become aware of that the process when you were chanting or trying to chant or read the sutras and the process which took place inside you during that time then gently open your eyes and we will go to the meaning of sutra 45 we have proceeded far in the first chapter of the four chapters as gurudev swami satyanand ji mentioned in his commentary he calls them the four chapters of freedom there is something which is binding us and that needs to be cleared this is freedom the bondages need to be broken how to do that that is told in these four chapters as we come towards the culmination of the first chapter let us understand the meaning of this sutra today sukshma vishayatvam cha alinga paryavasan paryavasanam the subtle stages of samadhi alinga meaning prakruti paryavasanam meaning culminate the matters relating to the subtler states that means the different stages of samadhi they culminate in prakruti alinga now we are going into the technical aspects for us at the moment it i think is sufficient to understand that the entire creation comes from brahman and from brahman you have two aspects shiva and shakti or if you look at sankhya and yoga which we are studying there are two eternal principles shiva and shakti purusha and prakriti 
and these two eternal principles give rise to the entire unmanifest as well as manifest evolutes evolution and then the manifestation of evolution into the living forms the basis of all of that is purusha and prakriti here they are saying that the matters relating to the subtler stages of samadhi they from the manifest you start going a little bit up a little bit up a little bit up a little bit up till a time you go into the manifest and you reach that level where you are able to connect to the prakriti which is beyond everything that is the significance that is the importance and that is the scope of freedom because the more manifested we remain the less aware of the higher nature we become generally and to be able to break these shackles of ignorance so to say is freedom and the culmination of freedom takes place first by the knowledge of that higher state and then eventually the experience of that this sutra indicates that so this is what we will be trying to reach in whichever level whatever form how many ever lifetimes we need in the same manner as we evolved from amoeba to insects as we evolve from insects to animals to human beings we have evolved on the physical level now is the time that we have to evolve on the level of consciousness and this evolution of consciousness is what is being spoken of the culmination of this consciousness is sukshma vishayatvam cha alinga paryavasanam and slowly we are coming towards the culmination of the first chapter of the samadhi path the first chapter of the four chapters and with this let us complete our session today today please sit in any comfortable posture eyes gently closed hands on your knees in dhyan or chin mudra awareness at the eyebrow center visualize the same image you had chosen at the beginning of the swadhyay satra of the mantra booster satra and then we shall chant the mantra om three times followed by the shanti part taking in a deep breath सतोमा सद्गमय सोमा ज्योतिर्गमय 
मृत्योर्मात गमय शांतिर्भवूर्ण मंगल लोका समस्ता सुखिनो त्र्यंबक यजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओ शाति 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 हिन्सिल प्रणाम मुद्रा माता पिता बंधुश्च सखा विद्याद्रविण सर्व मम देवेवेव जेंटली रब योर पाम्स अगेंस्ट ईच अदर प्लेस देम ऑन द क्लोज आईज एक्सपीरियंस द वॉम रेडिएटिंग फ्रॉम द पाम्स टू योर आईज टू द ब्रेन टू द होल बॉडी energizing and activating the whole brain whole body and then gently move your palms away open your eyes hari om tat sat namo narayan jai ho